What's going on, guys? Welcome to a, another episode of Retooling the Baltimore Orioles. Today, we start off the season a little bit because I started it and I realized I wasn't recording. So, I mean, there you go. But, um, we are 4-5. and five. I mean, that's, hopefully we can do a little bit better than the last couple episodes. The last couple episodes have been... Not the greatest, but um, I have confidence that we're going to be doing a little bit better because of our pitching staff is doing a lot better than last year. And we have a new guy, Connor Green. He was one of the prospects that we traded J.J. Hardy for, and now we have him in the starting rotation. So hopefully he can make a splash. Hopefully he can be a big help. To the struggling Baltimore Orioles pitching staff that I have right now. Because the past couple seasons, I mean, the pitching wasn't that bad. But, I mean, generally the Orioles pitching is basically carried by Kevin Gosman and Chris Tillman. We got rid of Chris Tillman because it is like 2021. But, um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and we're just going to get into this. It's the 2021 first year player draft. We're number 18 in the... Wow, all right. Number 18 in the draft. I basically left it up to chance, so let's see what kind of draft picks we got. Wow, actually fantastic. A bunch of just B players. A bunch of them. I've never had that to where I get... Basically 80s and above... All the way down until our last pick. That's that's surprising. We're zooming right past the trade deadline. It's getting close. I really hope we don't have another season where we don't make it to the postseason. Because that's, that's happened way too much for this team. And mostly it's just ba it's like luck, really. We've had a fantastic team. There's been no issues. It's just the luck hasn't been there, so hopefully that changes, but I don't we'd have to go on a pretty big winning streak. I'm not gonna lie, but that's alright. We can do it. I believe in us. And another season. We actually this is better, I think. This is a little bit better than what we were doing before. Actually, no, it's not. I, I lied. I can't, like, I I don't understand. We got Chris Davis and Steven Souza picking up. That's all right. I think we got 81 million. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Dylan Bundy, I mean, he was all right. I'm going to keep him. I'm just going to keep him there. Trey Turner has been working for us, so I think I'm, I might just let him go. Until we can find someone good. Andrew Heaney didn't do that bad. I think, oh my gosh, he actually was, I think, hurt for a lot of the year. Arbitration eligible? Yes. I will use arbitration. Definitely got to sign back all these prospects. Wilson Ramos has basically helped us with batting. A little bit. He has provided a nice power bat into the lineup, but he's getting old. 34. I really don't want to sign him back again. But um, we gotta we gotta do some work basically this this off season. We gotta make our team absolutely without a doubt succeed. We got Mariano Sanchez coming up through the ranks. He's going to be taking over Chris Davis's spot soon, soon enough. I need to get I need to find trades for Chris Davis. 36. He's still good. This is probably the last opportunity we have to get someone good out of him. And we are done. I do want to sign back Ryan Cook though real quick. Actually, no. Screw that. He didn't do good either. 
we're make we're making changes this off season. Like I said, anybody that didn't do good, screw them. We don't need them. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Aaron Nola, please come to the team. We definitely got to sign back Kevin Gosman. We're going for Aaron Nola, Kevin Gosman. Someone behind the plate. That's a good power hitter. We could sign back Matt Weeters. Mm, there's really not a good power hitter back here that's young. Other than Salvador Perez. But Salvador Perez is going to want $16 million. I, I really can't cough that up right now. I definitely would. I oh ooh, I definitely want one of these shortstops. Might be Francisco. Yes, it's Francisco Lindor. That's who I want. You can be the face of the franchise, Lindor. Just think about that, Tyler Naquin. Wow, but we got a pretty good outfield. I think Souza. Sousa did all right for his time. But I think Domingo Santana for 6.8 mil. And he's hitting almost 30 home runs. That's definitely worth it. And we'll just get rid of Sousa. I'm, I'm excited for what we have right now. Let's see. Francisco Lindor accepted the Orioles offer. Aaron Nola accepted the Orioles' offer. Look at that. Aaron Nola and Francisco Lindor. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Gosman. And now we can't afford Domingo Santana. But we got a lot of the guys that we wanted. I do want to go for Domingo Santana, though. Oh, my. Look at this. Just look. At these guys. 35 home runs for Chris Davis though. Decent year. I didn't even see. Kevin Gosman. 21 wins. Thank God we re-signed him. Aaron Nola up there now. Ooh. I'm not taking back Dylan Bundy. We just. I don't think we have. Really a use for him right now. So I'm just going to forget about him. And that, that will be that. We are so stacked in here, boys, now. Oh, my God. Definitely going to try and get someone from the Rule 5 draft. Oh, snap. Why is, why is Sanchez in there? Okay, he's already in the organization. Good thing is not that many people like to check this. So that's... That's good. That's very good. Um, all right, so we got Andrew Heaney back. And Christian Walker. Okay, I don't remember even giving him arbitration, but that's all right. Let's take a look at everybody that we have. Ooh, Aaron Nola. Ooh, Aaron Nola in that ace spot. Then Francisco Lindor. Oh, baby. I think I might want, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to um, be trading Chris Davis this episode. And um, let's see what we can do. Because we do have a backup, so that's, that's decent. But um, I do want to simulate a little bit. Because the trade value goes up depending on their performance. And it's Chris Davis. So, I mean, he should be good. I think even in spring training, it, it goes up. So, he might just sim spring training. Let's take a look. Spring training. Two home runs, 306 average. That should be good enough. Oh, my gosh. This Hernandez dude, the center fielder from the Astros. Holy crap. 
I'll use him over and left. Yes, please. Just please sign with us. That's all I care about. Please. Or, it's not even signing. It's the waiver wire. Yes, we got him. Oh, my God. There he is. Edit player. Left field. Let's see how good he is in left field. He actually goes down a lot in left field. Garrett Whitley can play left field. So I'm going to actually put... Why well, I keep going down there? It's just force of habit. Oh my god. Garrett Whitley goes up like crazy at left field. Okay, there you go. He can, he can be a left fielder. Hernandez can be the center fielder. That's that's looking good. Looking good. All right. All right, I'm just going to save the trade for next episode because not only is this episode getting long, for some reason his trade value is not that good because we only simmed two games. But, um... Yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Got end screen annotations on the screen whenever I put them on there. So, yeah, you can uh, you can click those. Subscribe in the middle. Go to different places. Go throughout the channel. Hope you like it. And, yeah, that's basically about it. So, I'll see you guys later.